On the 15th anniversary week of the original Woodsboro murders two high school students are murdered by Ghostface Sidney Prescott returns to Woodsboro the next day to promote her book with her publicist Rebecca Walters after evidence is found in her rental car, Sidney becomes a suspect in the murders and must stay in town until they are solved Sidney's cousin Jill Roberts who was coping with the infidelity of her ex-boyfriend Trevor, gets a threatening phone call from Ghostface as does her friend. Olivia Jill and Olivia alongside their friend Kirby Reed are questioned about their calls by Dewey Riley, now the town's sheriff, while his deputies Judy Hicks Anthony Perkins and Haas assist him in the case Gail Weathers Dewey's wife is struggling with writer's block and decides to investigate the murders against her husband's wishes Sydney stays over with Jill and her mother, Sydney's Aunt Kate, that that night Olivia is killed by Ghostface as Jill and Kirby watch in horror from across the street. Sydney herself is then confronted by Ghostface, and they fight until Ghostface is forced to flee. When Perkins and Haas arrive at the hospital, Sydney fires Rebecca after learning of her desire to exploit the murders to increase book sales, and Rebecca is subsequently murdered by Ghostface at a parking garage. Gail enlists the help of two high school movie fanatics Charlie Walker and Robbie Mercer. Charlie theorizes that the killer is following the rules of horror remakes, and Gail and Sydney conclude that the killer will likely strike at the Stabathon, a screening party held in a barn where teenagers gather to binge watch all movies in the Stab franchise Gail sneaks into the party to investigate, but Ghostface attacks her stabbing her in the shoulder Haas and Perkins, who were assigned to guard Jail's house, are also murdered Sydney discovers through another taunting call from Ghostface that Jill has left for Kirby's house before Ghostface attacks her and Kate killing Kate Jill Kirby Charlie Robbie and Trevor are at an after-party at Kirby's house when Ghostface strikes killing a drunk and Robbie Sidney arrives to leave with Jill, but they are both chased by Ghostface as Sidney calls Dewey and tries to find Jill Kirby frees Charlie who was bound and gagged, but he immediately stabs her revealing himself as Ghostface before leaving her to bleed out Sidney is confronted by Charlie and a second Ghostface, who reveals herself as Jill Jill admits to masterminding the murders out of jealousy from the fame that Sidney received for surviving the previous killing sprees and desires to achieve fame as a pseudo-victim of the murders intending to frame Trevor as Ghostface Jill kills Trevor and betrays Charlie, stabbing him to death to pin him as Trevor's accomplice so she can be the sole survivor she stabs Sidney and then stabs herself to frame Trevor further Dewey and the police arrive as Sidney and Jill are taken to the hospital after discovering that Sydney has survived an enraged Jill goes to her hospital room and makes a final attempt to kill Sydney Dewey Gale and Judy intervene having been clued in by the fact that Jill somehow knew exactly where Gale was stabbed Jill subdues Dewey and Hicks and holds Gale at gunpoint but Sydney incapacitates Jill with a defibrillator and ultimately kills her by shooting her in the heart Dewey calls in all police units as reporters outside wrongly named Jill as the sole surviving hero.